So today I have a very nice guest, one of my favorite people that I work with, Stefano Tomadini. Hi, Stefano. Hi, Ruan. Hi, Bell. Thanks for having me. Thank you for, for coming to, to this new adventure that I'm doing. I just wanted to share with everybody, you know, the, the work that we have done together. Let's talk a little bit about you. 25 years old from Italy. I moved to London when I was 19. Started modeling a couple of years ago, and that became my main job. Yeah, I've been having pleasure to work and meet so many beautiful people and artists like yourself. Love swimming, love running, and uh, I know, love cooking. Oh, yeah, you love cooking, right? I'm, I'm yeah. Italian. Do you remember how we met? Yeah, we met in London, actually, uh, in October. Your place in London it was just right before uh, I went to New York for a couple of months. Oh, we met at that place in Kilbourne, Kilbour, right? And my friend Alejandro. Thank you, Alejandro. We shot the first day that we met, right? Yes. Yeah. That was amazing because we went to a, to a magazine too. Like people talk to me and sometimes they think like, oh, like how do you do that? It looks so natural and it looks like yeah, a set production. And it was literally like the bedroom and the light that was coming. I remember that we talked about the idea. Yeah, that was funny because we, we had, kind of had like the same ideas and uh I think a couple of days before uh, we met, I uh, had like a dream uh, and I was dreaming that I was uh, somewhere in New York. I was looking at my, oh, my, my own self on the streets. I was passing by and I was just wondering what would it be the feeling of seeing yourself uh, in a different uh, manner. And at the same time, I was reading these things about parallel universe and I was also thinking about the idea of the many person that we could be in different direction, what if they cross together? And that's when you said, oh, I was thinking about the same thing, so we have to do it. You were moving to New York. Yeah, probably like a couple of days after. I had to go to New York for to do a project. Um, they put me in this beautiful apartment in Brooklyn, and it had a piano. And then I had this one day off, we have to do it. And then I contact you, how sometimes it's just destiny. But I think sometimes the concept is more important than having everything super prepped because sometimes when people see the projects that I do, they think, oh, there are how many people were behind it? And it was just... Me and you. <laughs> me and you were doing... Me and you and the camera. Funny because it was the same equipment that I used for this huge production. That night before, I had everything very figured out, like which takes we needed because... One thing with, with emotion, like you have to really know what's happening so it makes sense when you when you do the edit. We have to say thank you to Jason because he made he made it happen really fast too. I think for me, wh what is important when I do this type of films, memories of of the time that we were, like we're always gonna remember that time. How is it for you the difference between like print and video? It's always different when you have to make something alive, like a film. So you have to put yourself more in the uh, mindset of showing all the aspects of your character, not only um, your face or body, follow the creativity and the direction of the, the artist. Trust you and uh, you tell me what to do and I was trying my best to do it. If you have like a right connection with an artist, feel good, you feel confident, then the work is gonna, it's gonna get it done. But I guess like when you have to take pictures, it's more static. You can pose, do adjustment, maybe look at yourself in a mirror and a video and film. It's more like very smooth, very natural, uh, alive. And you have to look like yourself as well. You have to be confident, make art in some way. You know, for me, it's different because I'm also a photographer. You know, we, we did a print story at the same time where we were shooting the film. You know, sometimes I use the pictures to find the, the shot, but sometimes I first do the video and while I'm doing the video, I find the picture and then say, okay, now we'll take a picture. Like for me, it's very important that it's cinematic and it looks believable. Like you became a pianist. People were thinking that you actually play piano. Yeah, I got, <laughs> I got so many messages. Oh, you know how to play piano? Like actually I was playing around. Uh, I may do something that looks silly and odd. You know how to make it look real and uh, artistic. Going from two dimensions to three dimensions and four dimensions. Well, three dimensions is what you see in film. The two dimensions is the picture. And the fourth is something that we don't understand how it is, but technically it's a cube within a cube. This kind of a 
accordion. I guess people could not understand how how you we made it happen. That scene was very odd and looked quite also your face when you were walking on the corridor. It was weird to me at first, but then when you see the final result, uh, all makes sense and it looks beautiful. It was funny because uh, you made me look uh, good in a look that it wasn't properly like mine. Like I never played piano, I don't wear glasses, my usual style, but I, I really like it. What did people thought of the story? Did they get the story? Because sometimes people just get into the mood or the visuals, but for me, the story is very important. Yeah, I think we we made what we wanted, what was going on our mind. I don't know what people actually think about. I think like art is more about everybody should have a different interpretation. Uh, everyone has different opinion. I don't. I don't really matter what people yeah, say. I mean, I'm actually happy that they see other things that I didn't see. If I'm having a good time, I'm enjoying. That's all that matters for me. If the artists and myself are happy with the result, that's that's fine. So for the treatment, I wanted to create that sense that it's half. Or so sometimes you see one scene of one guy and the other, but sometimes you see the same guy cut in half to express a little bit more the concept. So people think that everything has to be super produced and super prepared. And for me, what is very important is that you know your scenes correct and you do each thing so they go together but we didn't have anything to do with sports and then some girls were playing basketball yeah yeah, yeah. yeah we got to ask if we could do some shoot around and your handsomeness <laughs> because we didn't plan to have you play basketball yeah, it was also dormant that it wouldn't allow at first to to let us uh, oh because we didn't go. have a permit and because he saw yeah. that we were a big production we said like no it's just two of us we're just shooting. He was really nice. He came back and he says, no, you can shoot, no problem. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, some of the effects that I did, funny, is the same effects that I did with the Madonna video the next day, which is $1 glass with water. So I put it like in front of, in front of the uh, lens the because it looks so good with it. So I do the same glass and I think she kind of like it. You know, like sometimes I don't, like to use expensive filters or special effects that are bought because everybody used them, you know? So I want them, I want them to look special. And then when you do the glass and the way you move it and all of that, it creates different distortions. Everybody loved that moment. But of course, they love it because your body look incredible. It's something very like private and uh, intimate. And I think I'm I'm fine with that if I get to know the the artists as uh, we did took time to know each other meet each other and uh, and talk about uh, talk about the project talk about uh, our life our stories gives you the confidence and that trust that you can trust a person uh, mm -hmm. so I really trusted you and uh, made me feel really confident and I had no problem with that and I think uh, you can be really uh, nice and and uh, artistic when you. It's done in a, in a classy way. For me also, is when you do nudes in video, it's very different than when you do it in... With pictures, you're creating a shape, while in video or film, it's more a mood. I think what you say is very important, that like when you are connected and when there is trust, you know that it's going to mm -hmm. be perfect. I think it, it, it shows because it feels very natural. It doesn't feel like you are... Yeah, no, that's, I think that's what our goal was to create like a scene that but you uh, gave me the right direction and we made it look really smooth, very natural, very artistic and classy. And I think that was, that was beautiful. For me, for example, when we did that part, it was also something that reminded me of the muse and the artist. And I remember that when we were texting one time, I told her like, I need a muse. Do you remember that we had that? I do. <laughs> and then to me, it was more about, you know, the artists, but also the half, the two versions, you know, one that was very classy and very reserved, and the other one that was just naked. I really love that scene. That's what I made that as the final picture when you are sitting. And the last scene, thank you, Alejandro, because that was his wall of, of art. Your print actually is in the last one. Thank you so much for having me all the time. And uh, I'm glad I worked with you and uh, we, we're definitely going to work. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Thank you so, Thank you so much. much. And I'll see you. And ciao, I'll ciao. See you soon. ciao, ciao. Thank you. Have a good Bye. day.